Well, Rwanda has had some success in uh, improving the health care of her population. Once you get uh, uh, better health for your people, that translates into increased productivity, more wealth. Health concerns all of us in the society. Everybody is concerned by health care issues and everybody is working jointly with other people in the system. Rwandans today have better access to healthcare than ever before. More trained doctors, more nurses and finances to pay for these services. A major achievement considering that in 1994, this war-torn country was brought to its knees by a horrific genocide which left over one million people dead. The government has had to start from scratch as it were in almost every area. The health workforce was decimated. In 1994, we had less than 40 doctors. It's 17 years on now, and although more than half of Rwanda's population still lives below the poverty line, even the poorest can gain access to medical help. So how has Rwanda achieved this remarkable recovery? Before the eruption of violence in 1994, the average life expectancy was 33 years. During the Civil War, life expectancy fell to 25 years, but a combination of strong leadership, community involvement, and a healthy relationship with donors all put Rwanda's health service back on track. By 2008, life expectancy had risen to 50 years. Political commitment has been key to nursing the country back to health. The government accountability has led to the improvement of Rwandan health system because everything is done on the basis of accountability. And in Rwanda, it pays to be efficient. Our healthcare providers are remunerated according to their performance, uh, not simply given a salary. The government has driven forward dynamic new policies, but have not been heavy-handed. Reforms are based on consultations with all sectors of society, from ministers to community workers. Thanks to a policy of decentralization, district health departments are responsible for organizing their own services and drug supplies. The authorities closest to the people decide what they need and this helps them to be more efficient. Staff training, increased spending and more accessible health services mean that 60% of the population now lives within five kilometers of a health center. The community health workers play a critical role in our healthcare system. Community health workers are very important because we are the ones who are very close to these people. And when we administer some drugs to them, we follow up. And if the patient is still sick, we transfer him or her to the hospital. Steady progress has reduced the impact of Rwanda's killer diseases. The death rate from malaria has dropped from 1 in 10 in 2001 to 1 in 50 in 2007. My role as a community health worker in my area has helped to reduce the death of children below the age of five, as well as the death of their mothers. Healthcare can be afforded by all Rwandans. So the Mutuals or community health-based insurance has been key to this. Uh, which now stands at over 91% of our population. Every Rwandan currently pays uh, less than $2 a year, and with this they can access the whole range of care available. But there are few who cannot afford these $2, and the government pays that for them. And international donors have also played an essential role in the recovery, providing funding and expertise. The government's constant dialogue with donors has made sure that it is Rwanda's priorities that have set the agenda for aid. But serious challenges lie ahead. The population still struggles with poverty and malnutrition is still on the rise. The main contribution of uh, an improved health system is the, the, the protection of life, that people can be healthy. And when you are healthy, you can work, you can contribute to the development of your country, of your family and so on. 
to see the progress that has been made gives Rwandans the confidence that they can achieve even more, and that is important. To find out more, please visit the website at www.developmentprogress.org.